Today, we turn the spotlight on the island of Samar and discover how cooperation among local communities, government, and private institutions, as well as our indigenous peoples, have all become instrumental in protecting the Samar Island Natural Park. As we continue to fight for the survival of our planet, it is encouraging to learn stories of people coming together to conserve and protect what remains of our dwindling biodiversity. From sturdy rock formations and calm waters to the harmonized colors of terrestrial plants and forest creatures, Mother Nature has a way of wrapping everything in her tender embrace. Now enjoying the spotlight of protection is the Samar Island Natural Park. Situated in the mid-eastern part of the Philippines, Samar Island Natural Park was declared a protected area in August 13, 2003, by virtue of Presidential Proclamation No. 442. It is one of the 94 protected areas legislated pursuant to Republic Act 11038 or the expanded NEPAS Act of 2018, which I authored. It is the second largest terrestrial protected area in the country, covering a staggering 335,106 hectares of contiguous old growth forest that joins the island's three provinces, Northern Samar, Eastern Samar, and Samar Province. This remarkable piece of paradise is home to a diverse amalgam of tropical flora and fauna. Ang Summer Island Natural Park, I'm best ito describe na isang lowland tropical rainforest. Dahil nga wala siyang a mountain, ang pinakamataas na elevation niya is 800 plus lang. So, technically speaking, wala talaga siyang uh, mountain. Rainforest siya kasi ang mga ang forest niya is composed of depterocarp. Dito makikita yung mga lawaan, apitong, nara, in terms naman po sa fauna, uh, dito sa Samar, ito yung kauna-una ang area na nakita yung uh, Philippine Eagle, yung national bird po natin. Uh, aside from that, dito din makikita yung Rafflesia, which is a parasitic na flower plant. Parasite siya kasi nabubuhay, nabubuhay lang siya sa isang vine na very particular sa yan. Ang pangalan ng vine is tetrastegma. So doon niya, makikita siya doon sa may Basay area. Yun lang ang nakita namin area within the summer. Aside from that, nandito yung mga hornbills, yung tariktik hornbills na ang ano niyan is samarenses. Ang kanyang scientific is Pilipine Lopedes samarenses. So usually pag may samarenses kasi, kikita mo lang siya dito sa area. Meron kaming Bisayan uh, broadbill, 
Uh, narito din yung mga iba't ibang raptors kagaya ng serpent eagle, mga bosards nandoon, mga sunbirds and then mga flower packers. Uh, sa flora naman ano man dito yung mga giant ferns. The menagerie of life forms endemic to the Samar Island Natural Park is matched by its magnificent landscape, composed of 25 river systems, waterfalls, caves, and natural bridges scattered across its expanse. Most can be found in Basay, Paranas, and Sohoton, while some are yet to be discovered and explored. Hidden Paradise. So, Hidden Paradise kasi nga ho, um, dahil nga sa dami ho nating caves and ours, yung mga tinatawag ko natin na natural resources na nandito ho sa summer, for example, cave, beaches, waterfalls, and um, na hindi pa ho siya talaga na-introduce in public. Actually, yung signature ho namin dito, uh, maliban lang sa mga caves, we have what we call the natural breeds. So, natural breeds is uh, parang ano siya, yung between two mountains ridges na kung, kung saan po yung, yung flow ng water is nasa loob. Nag-iisa lang ito dito sa Pilipinas, dito sa summer especially po. largest karst in the Philippines uh, or kinoconsider ho kasi yung, yung summer or especially po the Summer Island Natural Park is uh, ano po siya ma'am, uh, the keeping capital of the Philippines kasi dito ho natin makikita yung isa sa pinakamalaking cave sa buong bansa po. So what we call the Langon Gubingo Cave. So yung Langon Gubingo Cave na yun is um, kung, kung familiar ho tayo sa ano ma'am, sa football field Tatlong football field, pwede ho natin ipasok yan doon sa loob, sa main chamber pa lang. So kung i-explore mo siya, pwede mo siyang i-explore uh, three days and two nights sa loob ng cave. Gusto namin na maalagahan yung kalikasan dahil sa kalikasan kami kumukuha ng mga impormasyon tungkol po sa mga kalamidad at saka yung oras. Kung ano ng oras ngayon, kasi yung mga tribo eh, wala namang orasan yun. Eh. At saka doon din kami nagbabasi kung anong mangyayari sa mga kalamidad. Gaya ng mga ibon, kapag maingay sila at saka parang lumilipat na sila ng tirahan, Ibig sabihin nun, uh, nag-aaghat sila na mag maghanda na yung buong komunidad. At saka kung yung ano din, gangis, gangis yun sa waray-waray. Pero sa amin ay ibang pangalan yun. Kapag mag-ingay sila, tapos parang huminto na parang, parang maramdaman mo sa puso mo na parang pailalim talaga. Yun darating ang lindol. Kaya alam namin ng mga tribe na yung araw na yun darating ang lindol. The blend of geographical wonders and biodiversity in Summer Island Natural Park has effectively placed it on the map of Philippine ecotourism. Curious adventurers and thrill-seeking tourists enjoy the park's enchanting caverns, refreshing water systems, and unique species of wildlife. Dito po sa Summer Island Natural Park, yung promote namin is yung tatlo pong area. Yung sa may Suhoton, which features the natural bridge at saka yung cave. And then sa Kalbiga, featuring yung uh, Lulugayan Falls at saka Langon Gubingob. At dito po sa may, pinaka, sa may Paranas area, which the uh, Summer Island Natural Park Central Headquarters located, is yung Torpedo Boat Ride po. 
Ah, Nag-iisa lang po siya sa buong mundo na torpedo. It is a uh, active, water activity siya. Pero sasabay, sasakay po kayo sa boat na ang mukha po, ang, ang itsura po niya is parang torpedo. Uh, the activity will uh, last for four hours. It's a 10.2 kilometer na uh, magnanavigate po kayo ng Ulot River. However, the fragile beauty of Summer Island Natural Park faces different threats posed by inhabitants and local communities within the area. The greatest threats that the, par the park is facing today, actually the livelihood activities of the people uh, living here in the park. As I have told, there are 240 so barangay, so a lot of people here. So uh, most of their livelihood activities are like farming. So they need the farming, uh, kainin making like that, then timber poaching, some others are charcoal making. Uh, to total, totally protect the Samar Island Natural Park, we have the so-called the Protected Area Management Plan, with ha which have the five programs to address all these issues. So we have the Conservation Management Program, the Community-Based Ecotourism Management Program, which are how can we develop with our ecotourism destinations that will transform from this natural beauty of the park, uh, that will transform into livelihood opportunities unto the people. We have the Community-Based Management outreach program which provide the tenure instrument security of tenure to those upland communities which are tenured migrants. And then we have also the park is managed by the so-called protected area management board as the policy making body of the park that will approve plans and proposal. So anything, uh, development, whatever that will be implemented into the Summer Island Natural Park, it's the decision of the protected area management board. Substantial collaborative efforts of all stakeholders and relevant agencies must be continuously implemented to protect the natural park. The primary strategy is to fully transform the lives of locals through sustainable development programs that would wean the dependence of the communities on the resources of the protected area. Mapapanatili po natin yung ganda ng ng environment using the uh, ecotourism. Uh, isa nga po yung sinabi ko kanina, yung sa torpedo po, uh, with the collaboration of the provincial government of Samar, DOT, yung municipality po ng Paranas, which nabilong siya eh, yung kanyang administrative jurisdiction, ay nagsasama-sama po para na-develop po yung torpedo. Yan po ay, ano yan, uh, yung activity mismo is torpedo, pero yung pangalan din po ng organisasyon is torpedo din po. Uh, it's a people's organization na dati po sila, mga nag-iiligal, uh, they are very, very dependent to the forest, yung sa wood, pag, pag puputol po ng kahoy. But slowly, binigyan po sila namin ng ibang enterprise or livelihood para medyo mais na po yung pressure ng, ng forest na paggagamit nila. So ngayon, yung, yung boat, uh, dati nila uh, sinasakyan ng mga lumber flitches, turista na po yung, ano, yung sinasakay, hindi na po yung mga illegal na gawain. Hindi ko sinasabi na uh, total talaga sila, but little by little, they will appreciate. Ano. Kasi pag may appreciation po yung isang tao sa environment o sa kapaligan o sa forest, makikita niya kung gaano siya kaimportante. Minor forest products are utilized as raw materials for sustainable livelihood programs anchored on ecotourism. Ay, yung mga basket making, agawa po yun sa ano, minor forest product po ang tawag doon, kagaya po ng rattan, yung agsam, yung nito. Kinukombine po yung tatlo para gumawa po sila ng mga handicraft. The conservation and protection of the Summer Island Natural Park is continuously ingrained in the indigenous culture 
and practices even in child rearing. Lahat ng chapter leader namin nagsasabi sa mga komunidad na ganito ang gagawin natin. Kung magkuha tayo ng ratan, ay hindi natin papatayin yung mga anak niya, yung mga seeds po niya. Kasi doon din kami kumukuha ng pagkain, gaya ng pugahan. Hari na yun ang laman nun. So doon din kami kumukuha ng pagkain. At saka yung mga ano din, mga prota sa bundok. The task may be daunting, but when a treasured paradise is at stake, the people of Samar Island Natural Park are ready to accept the challenge. Ako po nagkakandak pa ako ng monitoring quarterly sa sinasabi naming BMS site. The BMS stands for Biodiversity Monitoring System. Uh, ang ginagawa po namin, it's a 2-kilometer na transect line. Uh, linilista po lahat ng makikita, maririnig na ibon, pati yung flora, pati yung mga tanim, important po na tanim. At tapos, iano yan siya, gagawan po yan ng report. Because it is a protected area by law, kailangan niyang protektahan. Pero kung ang DNR lang ang sasabihing magpro-protecta, mahirap po. Kailangan po ng tulong ng uh, LGUs, uh, both the provincial and, ano, and, at iba pa pong ahensya. Kasi even the community, pag-perform po ng mga people's organization na sila po ang katuwang namin para protektahan yung isang lugar. The Grand Forest that is Summer Island Natural Park has never been so alive. With this fragile piece of earth, the goal of conservation is a collective agenda day after day. More than just a spectacular panorama of rock formations, the Biri La Rosa protected landscape and seascape brings to light a rock-solid story of unity and collaboration among stakeholders. Fashioned by forceful winds and splashing waves, they are a silent testament to nature's artistic fury, carved over millions of years. These majestic rock formations of Biri are one of the geological wonders of the Philippines. A breathtaking vista, also considered as one of the country's best managed protected areas. Undeniably one of the most photographed locales in the province, Biri and its rugged coastline of limestone cliffs is a natural magnet for tourists and adventure seekers. Ang anim na rock formation dito sa amin sa pangalang Magasang, Magsapad, Makadlaw, Puhunan, Bilat, at karanas. At kung titingnan mo ang isla ng Biri ay napapalibutan siya talaga ng mga rock formation na tinuturing namin pumoprotekta sa aming isla. Kasi, kasi ang Biri ay fishing Pacific. Kaya kung ano man ang mangyari sa karagatang Pasipiko o tsunami, ang rock formation ang proteksyon namin. Kasi nagsisilibi siyang seawall ng aming isla. Ang isla ng Biri po ay unang-una nakilala siya noong Shinot, ang pelikulang iisa pa lamang dito sa Biri na pinagbibidahan ni Richard Gubis at si Don Salueta noong 1992. Doon nakilala at nagsimula na makilala ang Biri sa buong Pilipinas hanggang sa buong mundo dahil sa pelikulang yun. The Biri La Rosa is a sought-after tourist destination in northern Samar 
precisely because it is a key biodiversity area that has been proclaimed as a protected landscape and seascape in April 2000. Uh, sa ngayon din, yung very laro sa from Proclamation 291 ay ngayon kasali na po sa one of the 94 protected areas in the Philippines as uh, Republic Act 11038. So yung, yung sinasabing expanded national integrated and protected area system. Una po yung very laro sa ay complete po ng major ecosystem like mangrove, seagrass, fishes, corals, at saka mayroon po tayong wetland. Over 400 hectares of mangrove forests provide habitat to a host of flora and fauna, particularly local and migratory seabirds. Coral reefs cover more than 80 hectares of the waters, with beds of seagrass spread within outlying areas. One finds quaint reef fish species such as the siganid, or rabbit fishes, locally dangit in these waters. Dahil protected area ang beri, nag up kami sa beri La Rosa, yung Pambi Protected Area Management Board na, na namamahala dito sa isla ng beri. The Protected Area Management Board in Biri La Rosa brings together all stakeholders to a mutual level ground where coordination becomes key to the area's conservation. Sa ngayon, ang Pambi ay masigasig na pila-implement ang mga batas na kailangan sa isang deklaradong uh, protected area kagaya ng Isla Langberry. Malaking bagay po sa amin dito na kami ay isang tourist destination na iwasan na ang mga illegal na aktibilalis dito. Uh, isa sa naging malaking epekto siguro na nawala ang illegal fishing dito sa amin sa Bayan Langberry. Noong magkaroon ako ng mga lumang speedboat na umiikot sa bayan ko. Kasi noon ang mga illegal fishermen walang nakakahuli kasi wala lamang mabilis na roboresponde. Sa ngayon, nung ma malaman nila na may speedboat ako, nawala ang mga nagtitilamita. Isa yun sa naobserbahan ko dito sa bayan ng Biri, wala nang dynamite fishing na nangyayari dito. Sa ngayon na nag to na ang pambi dito sa amin. Hindi ko na pinayagan ang malaking construction kagaya ng mga road concreting na ginagawa ngayon dito sa isla namin. Bilang paso, marami po ang mga uh, ang aming ginagawa dito kagaya ng regular monitoring sa dagat at sa, sa coastal and marine. At lahat ng mga aktibidades dito, kung may mga establishment man, ay dapat coordinate sa Beri La Rosa para sa kanilang kuan, mga proyekto. An aggressive education campaign on the do's and don'ts that visitors need to know is a big part of the community's efforts at conservation. Inevitably, the level of involvement of the community spells a difference in the level of conservation and protection of one's source of local pride. Prior to its organization in 2012, the San Antonio Fishers Association knew they had to be involved. Nagkaroon kami ng, ng information education campaign through radio programs. Ano? So narinig nila yung mga advocacy namin na kailangan mga rehabilitation doon sa mga denuded areas. So isang president noon, yung Delit uh, Rodrigo, pumunta po sa amin, nagtanong, o, o, pwede ba magtanim kami ng ano, mangrove, nagpaalam. Eh sabi namin, eh, wala pa tayong ano, wala pa tayong um, pundo. Hindi, sa sarili namin, voluntary lang. So sa madaling salita, Ni, inano namin yan, sinurbe yung buong area ng San Antonio. So, umabot ng 500 plus hectares, voluntary loan.
minsan mahirap minsan enjoy naman kasi yung member yung member namin ko very cooperative naman sa asosasyon namin malaki yung naitutulong malaki yung benepisyo na kaya nga kailangan i, i pangalagaan yung protected area kasi ito ang nagpo-protect sa ating kapaligiran eh over the years the association's focus evolved from protecting the mangroves to generating livelihood sources for its farmers and fishers. Mahirap man sa amin yung ginagawa na pagbabantay, pagpagprotect ng bakawan namin, pero nakakatulong naman. Kasi sa ngayon, may project kami doon sa gitna sa CBP namin, araw-araw may duty kami doon. Kung sino ang gumagawa ng pamutol ng bakawan namin pag naririnig ng pinupuntahan namin. Sama-sama kami sa pagpaprotect noon, hindi lang sa hindi lang sa pagpuputik kundi pagtatanim ulit sa mga propagyon na mamatay. The same passion to conserve biri is shared by an allied group initiated by a Scottish national who fell in love with the island's coral reefs. Initiative ba uh, isa pong samahan ng ano biri project po namin ng tatanim po kami ng corals. Okay lang natin alagaan kasi Yung corals natin talagang mahalaga, maganda. Pag tinignan mo siya sa ilalim ng dagat, talagang makakit ka sa ganda niya. Lalo na pag maraming isda siyang nasa paligid. Ah, sa ngayon po, ang beri ay pinapangalagaan namin at ng DNR kasama yung mga Blue Brigade para maprotektahan ang aming bayan. Unang-una kasi ang disiplina nagsisimula sa bahay-bahay, lalong-lalo na sa solid waste management. Pinafos namin ngayon ang uh, pagsisegregate ng mga basura sa bahay pa lang. Pero napakahirap i-implement ang paukulang paraan para sa ma ma-minimize ang basura. Kasi lahat ng bangka na pumapasok galing sa Mindan, papunta rito, may dalang plastic. Yun ang pinakamahirap na tolerate namin pero dahan-dahan namin ine-educate ang mga tao dito working hand in hand with these groups are tireless community members who have bonded into people's organizations to do their share ah uh, malaki ang nitutulong ng national government lalo-lalo na ng ma-declare na protected area ang tree na pinadaan sa DNR ang pagpapa-implement ng mga batas Aware of their responsibility as protectors of Biri, they embody the rock-solid strength and resilience in guarding the ecosystems that have long thrived in these islands. Northern Samar's greatest geologic pride is in rock-steady hands of protection. Biri La Rosa, protected landscape and seascape. Caring for our environment should be part of our everyday life. What happens inside our homes will have a big impact on what happens outside. It's about time that we take our stand. Our fragile earth is in our hands.